Hello everybody, this is Swaverly, and welcome back. I know I said I was done with YouTube, but this game, I have to share this game with everybody. This is satisfactory. It is, well, as you, as a factory building game, go figure, but it just tickles that perfect bit of OCD inside of me that it just, oh, I, I just, I just want to share this one with you. So let's get into it. Uh, just let's pick the grassy fields. Why not? It's decent enough biome to start in. Um, I, I've had a few hours in the game, so I somewhat know what I'm doing. Um, I've gotten up to like tier three on my own, so uh, yeah, we're just going to get into this. I'm probably going to be chopping this up a little bit here and there just to show you guys progress because the beginning of this game could be a bit of a slog, so uh, let's just get right into it and let's just name our world. Uh, I don't know. What do you think, Marley? What should I call it? Should I name my planet after you? Yeah, we're going to call you Marley. Planet Marley, let's go. Yes, uh, I'm offline because for some reason my internet's down. They might be having some routine maintenance. I'll try to subtitle this part because I couldn't find subtitles. Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. And we shall begin our adventure. I never noticed this. I got two uh, storage crates on the side here. Why don't I get more items when I disassemble this thing? Oh, I got two over there, too! What a load of bullshit! Here we are, Planet Marley. Yes! Just this real quick. Planet fall complete. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Uh, ah, excuse me, sorry. And we begin our adventure. All right. Ah. Uh. So beautiful. Uh, oh, hi. Welcome to um, I did not expect to be spawning right next to enemies. Okay. In the binary star system of Akija. Ow! Let me get my taser. Also uh. known as artificial directory and assistant. Oh, this is going to be a great playthrough if they're starting me off next to enemies. You are the third of your sector to survive planetfall. Congratulations. Ah. This is going to be a great playthrough. Based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. First objective, please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Yeah, okay. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. <laughs> yeah, wait till I get the awesome sink. All important fixit data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Might as well grab some biomass since she won't let me use my taser yet. Uh, 
Okay, open codex, okay. Second objective. Please ensure you have your fixit incorporated. Thank you. Damper, equipped before leaving the drop zone. Before leaving the no. drop zone? According to fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Get some berries so I can get some health back. Like in the beginning, she just won't stop talking about the everything that you need to do. Just let me communicate with the audience. Alright, so I need to find my iron. Boink. Close this node. That way. Yeah, I need to have this before I leave the crash site. Too bad there was one at the crash site to punch me off the side of a cliff. Hi! You're the one who blasted me. Let me have your skin. What do we have here? Man, ow! You, you... Ah! Okay, uh, we got a normal node. Fourth objective. Build the hub. Yeah, okay, yeah. Note. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Okay, I got my hub built. Congratulations. You have unlocked. Hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Fifth objective, complete hub upgrade one. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Yeah, okay, so what she said then, so let's uh, dig up the top part of this iron and get on our way. All right, so we have one normal node, two normal nodes, three normal nodes. Hey, not bad uh, starting location. Too bad none of them are pure. When it comes to the uh, the, the ore um, sites, pure, normal, and impure are the types you have. So you could get more out of a normal node than an impure, and more out of a pure than a normal node. It's time to turn the raw iron into some iron ingots. And once I have my iron ingots, I can either make iron plates or iron rods. Now if you notice, I had chose, uh, well I didn't really choose, it's the only upgrade I can get, but it's hub upgrade one, which requires rods. So I'm gonna make uh, about, I'm gonna make ten, 10 rods for the moment being. Uh, I've made an, one extra, why not? Let's go for the road, let's upgrade the hub. Wow, look at what some iron rods did. Congratulations, you have unlocked building workshop. Equipment, portable miner. Inventory, additional slots. Hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade two. Note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Fix it does not waste, I just threw away flowers. Screw you, fix it! All right, so I want to build this equipment workshop because this will get me my portable miner. So I'm going to need some more rods and I need some plates. And then once I get this, I can black down one of these. And I think I can search for copper now. No, that's my... I can do that after this, but you know what? I'll just make two of them. You know, it never hurts to have more than you need. Especially when it comes to the early game mining. Alright, cool. I've got four of those, which will be handy for the time being. I need to put you in my hands. Your big bulky bar. Your big bulky boy. Eh. Set you down and look at this little guy. He's so cute. Well, you know what? Let's put more down. Why not? Yeah, you could put more than one miner on a uh, node. I'm going to store the monster skins for now because I don't really have a use for them until a little later on in the game. So for the time being, 
Let's let those guys do their jobs and pick up some more leaves. Ooh, I got some limestone here. I'll take some of that. <laughs> you went flopping. How are we doing over here, boys? Doing good? Working hard? Yes, you are. I think I'm set on iron for a little bit. So let's get these plates, or sorry, these rods made. Okay, and I can just plop, plop, and done. Okay. Can I search for uh, a copper now? Yes, I can. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note. Connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Nice. No, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Uh huh. Advice: Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. All right. So for smelter, I'm gonna need rods and wire, which I can get by doing copper. So, copper, where are you? Oh, sulfur. Nice. That'll be good for later. What is this? Oh, some more iron. Not bad, but they're both impure. I mean, any little bit can help right now. Please be a pure node. Please be a pure node. Normal. Uh, let's take what we can get. Hey, get back here. Do not flee in fear. All right. With these set up, I can get my copper uh, production underway. Uh, I've already got some. You know what? Let's just throw down a crap. I'm missing materials. Of course I am. I hear you. Ah, uh, say hello to our friendly neighbor, the lima bean. So, okay. I want to make a smelter for my iron just to make things move along quickly. I need to attach some power. Oh, I need cables first. Of course I do. Can I make concrete yet? Oh no, I can't. So this is gonna be a little sketchy. But it, it it tied up there nicely. Let's go put some iron in you and we'll get this process started. So make it to where I don't have to do this by hand anymore. I need to put leaves in the burner first. That would help. Can I still build a smelter? Yes, I can, sweet. But I can't power it yet. Hmm. I need power cable, power poles, but in order to get the power poles, I need concrete. In which I need concrete, I need the next tier. See what I meant by the first part of this game is a slog until I get like automation really set up. Ow, my knees. Ooh, I see something shiny on that rock. Can you guess what it is? We got ourselves a blue power slug. These things are extremely useful and for later on. But, I won't be able to do anything with them until I have a certain piece of equipment. So, let's put you in there. Oh, how barren this is. Uh, I miss the comforts of home. Don't die. Don't, isn't that right, mister? I need to give you a nickname. I, I call him a lima bean. I'm gonna, since I know what the like, Japanese is like, Azuki is like sweet bean. I'm gonna call you Azuki. How you doing, Azuki? Oh, for our, how I long the days for automated copper, <laughs> copper products and iron products. How I long for the day for automated power. <laughs> All right, I can complete my next tier and get concrete so I could get some power poles, please. Oh yes, I have the constructor now too. Uh, things are going out my way. I need some plates, iron. Congratulations. You have unlocked scanner feature, limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Eighth objective, complete hub upgrade four. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. See, for the constructors, I need these reinforced iron plates. And they're a little difficult to make in the beginning of the game because you don't really have any screws reinforced yet, and uh, you need screws to make those, and they need a lot of screws. Okay, I got enough to make two constructors, which is perfect for the time being. Oh, no, I'm missing cable. Fun fact, if you middle mouse click on a building, it'll copy it for you. 
All right, let's set this to plates and set you to rods. And then disconnect you. Place, I need concrete, of course. Good thing I have limestone in my inventory. I can make four concrete, perfect. I know I'm gonna need a miner over here at some point. So place you preemptively here. Place, I'll uh, just hook you up to that. Hook you up here, grab you, and grab some of this. Actually, I'm gonna grab one of you entirely. Set it on the limestone so I can get some automatic limestone being drilled. Ooh, I see something over here. I didn't even need to scan for it. It's just in plain sight. What do you have for me, baby? Another impure. Okay, well, lucky me. <laughs> I got two impure limestones by me. And they're on the opposite ends of my base. Well, at least it's something. Do I have enough to make another constructor? No, I need uh, reinforced iron plates. All right. Well, I can get that set up at least. Oh, let's set my next hub objective. Conveyor belts. Yes, that will be awesome. Just set this down like that. Oh, I didn't need to do that, did I? Because I have uh, I had one up here. Oh, well, I have an extra portable miner, I guess. Let's just set you down here. Oh, I need iron rod. Of course I do. Good thing I'm having them motivated. Motivated. Automated. Now I can get this smelter up and running so I can at least get some automated copper ingots. Oh, man, this game is just beautiful. Look at that. Oh, so cool. Look at that. Oh, ha, <laughs> ha. No power, did I run out of biomass? That's probably what happened. Ouch. My be my weak knees! I'll get you later. Trust me on that. Okay, back to task. Let's just put the stack of 500. Get rid of you because I don't need you in the game at all. They are literally only used for paint canisters. You know, I, could, I can automate this. I need to make the plates first. Let's set you on the other side of the rock just so I know what is what. I need cable. This just, just shows my ADHD in full swing. It's just like, oh, I need to do this. Oh, I forgot this item. I really need to make a task bar for these smaller buildings. Set you to screws and let's put my rods in there. Pick up you because you are needed. I need my, I need screws. I need rods. I, I need everything all at the same time. Automation in the early game is really necessary. Get my iron, just fill up my smelter. They aren't paying me enough for this. And by not paying me enough, they aren't paying me at all. Can I make 20 cable? I can, I can make 21 in fact. Yes, give me the belts, belts are helpful. Ah, I got my miner now too, yes! Congratulations. You have unlocked building, conveyor belts and poles, inventory, additional slots. Ninth objective, complete hub upgrade 5. Note, portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice, when planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. I don't really need to worry about that until I get base building and then I can make things look pretty. Yes, I need to get this so I can get miners. Like automatic miners. All right, uh, let's get concrete automated right now at least. Uh, nope, give me that. Give me. Okay, thank you. Needs more iron, so let's just load that. Uh, of course. <sighs> uh, oh no, I've got too many machines. I need to sacrifice one. Uh, which one do I need to sacrifice the most? Concrete. I need another biomass burner. Can I build one? No. I'm just barely at the limit. Well, I'm kind of at a standstill really here until I can build up a good chunk of materials. Yeah, let's at least get prepared for the future because I'm going to need two more constructors at least. Build nine of these. Heck yeah, I'll do that. Might as well get the stuff prepared for when I actually can do stuff. Because this stuff is really just temporary until I can get materials to start building up a grid-based base and make things look pretty. One of you 
here. And another one here. Preemptively just do this so that you can connect up to that when it is time. And for now, let's just hook up the belts. I need plates. Me trying to handcraft this stuff when it's readily available. See, belts make it to where I don't have to transport materials back and forth from machine to machine. It does it by itself. How convenient. But right now, I can't really do much in this regards because I can't really split you off yet. Just think how, how awesome is this that okay, at this crafting table, which I don't really see a smelting thing, it just looks like a couple of ovens off to the side, that I can turn raw copper and raw iron into ingots. I mean, that's just amazing technology. But the fact that I can just turn rocks into malleable concrete with a hammer. <laughs> yes, poor big miners, big boys. And more biomass burners. Nice. Do I have an extra Congratulations. One? Yes. Have unlocked. Building miner mark one. Building storage container. Hub feature additional biomass burner. Tenth objective. Complete hub upgrade six. Note. There are no notes. <laughs> Ada, you're such a jokester. All right, now I should be able to hook up my other machines. Let's put our first miner down. We're going to be using it for copper right now, so let's just... I uh, didn't really think my smelter through, but you know what? It's working now, so... Lamb. Oh, yeah, let's get this copper flowing. Do I have any... Logistics, I just have that. I got storage containers. And that'll build up over time. Ooh, since I've got my extra portable miner, I can put down two of these. And this solves this problem for the time being. Plates. Uh, whatever will I do? Oink. Ah, uh, of course. Too many machines. Not enough power. Uh, concrete, you can go. <laughs> I keep sacrificing concrete even though I need it for my next tier. Oh, you are, uh... You're joking, right? Can I not have these set up? Oh, no. Oh, no. My power. I need more. What are these mining? 60 per minute? Oh, I could just split this off into two once I get the right thing I need. When do I get that again? Do I get that in this next tier? Oh, please tell me I get this in the next tier. <sighs> All right, well, let's go collect our fucking limestone and make concrete by hand like a savage. Oh, I've been going around all this time without my zapper. Oh, I've been I've been playing a dangerous game. Uh, constant need for stuff. I need vegetation. Ooh, hey, look what I found on my little trek. Nice, that'll be handy for when I have the thing I need to do with that. That made a lot of sense. Good job, me. Thanks, me. Oh, hi. It's one of you. Uh, can I take you on? Ow! The answer is no. The answer is most definitely no. Hiya! Ow! Ow! Never mind. I'm much bad. I'm I'm much more awesome than I thought I was. Oh, some free pure limestone. My, don't mind if I yes. We will, we will rock you. Okay, so I think I got plenty of uh, biomass for this endeavor. So let's plank, fill you back up to the, f fill you up full. Set my new rare items inside of here. Just blank, blank. Make some more concrete. Plop you in the thing. Uh, you need plates and rods. Did I forget? Yes.
Now, once I get another biomass thingy, I can pick this up. Uh, can I build you? Yes, I can. The wrong thing. I cannot build this, however. I do have plates nearby. So that'll get powered eventually. Hopefully. <laughs> do I have another portable miner on me so I can get limestone in the meantime? No, I need to build another one. It's handy to have one on you just in case you run into a power crisis as I am currently facing. Because I'm going to need this anyway for my other limestone deposit, so it's good to have one now. Oh wait, I already have one on my other limestone deposit. What am I thinking? Since I'm not making cable, I can probably hook up my concrete and get that ball rolling on automatically. And just switch out the copper and uh, cable whenever I need to until I get sufficient power. I won't be able to belt you into there yet, but you know what? I can certainly put some uh, limestone in there. Ow! Ow! Give me my thingy! Hey! I did not give you permission to touch me! Thank you. I know, Azuki. Oh, I think I see another slug up there. Let's go and uh, collect it. Hi. Ow. Give me time to land! No, you're, you first. You first. You go to die first. Get back here. Face your death. Can't wait until I get my upgraded zappy stick. Kind of want to run into a, uh, a crash site while I'm out and about. Just so I can get some uh, nice loot from it. How are we looking on these guys over here? Oh, I got plenty of you. Plenty of you. Let's go check on the copper wire and see if we can upgrade to the next tier so I can get everything online. If you wonder why I'm crouch jumping along the way, if you're sprinting and crouch and jump immediately after, you actually get a slight speed boost. Handy for getting place to place very quickly. Well, not very quickly, but a lot quicker than you normally do. The only way place it doesn't work is if you're running uphill. Then you just crouch and you basically just stop moving. I've got my materials ready and willing to go. Yes, more power. So uh, I'm actually going to get base building unlocked before I end this video. Congratulations, you have unlocked building space elevator, building biomass burner. Park, actually, yeah. biomass. I might. Message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Note, what? Future developments should be aimed uh. at constructing the space elevator and as such initiating project assembly. Good luck. I need a lot more biomass. But right now, everything's running. But yeah, I want to unlock base building, and I also want to get the space elevator built. So what do I need to build this? Let's put that on my to-do list on the side, and I need a lot of stuff. Good thing that's already, so a lot of that's being automated. Oh yeah, I unlocked the biomass thing option now. This will be a lot more efficient. You know what? Let's automate it! Oh, cable. Ah, I got a. I'm close to the cable, it's just handcrafted. I guess. Leaves. Poink. And actually, do I. Yep, I think I do. Yes, I do. Storage bins. 
put all my leaves in there. So now that's just going to continue to do that. I'm going to put one at the end. I need plates. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's put bins for everything. The power go out. No, it's still looking steady. Oh, one of them went out. Since I got some of these bricks, put those in there so it'll last a little bit longer than it needs to. Uh, let's put wood in you. Even though wood's really good at making stuff. Uh, I'll handcraft this one. Because I need that bi sweet, sweet biomass bricks. I'm burning fuel to build fuel, if that makes any sense. Alright, my concrete is getting stored up. Let me get over here, store up my wire. Alright, so let's get back to the hub and pick our next milestone, which is the base building. And then we will work towards the space elevator. Now, everything in my base should be running right now, so this is kind of stress testing the system a bit. Oh, but this would be handy too. Oh, mm, no, I need to get this one first. Let's grab a, a, any cable that we got right now. Of course. Ah! <laughs> it's not even that my power network's not big enough. It's just I don't have enough fuel to keep up. Oh, this is going to take forever to get stocked up. I don't want to risk putting down another constructor for making biomass with wood. So in the meantime, let's take a little journey, shall we, into the wide unknown. Oh, ow, hi! I came over here because I saw a slug and I didn't see you over here. Just get stuck inside the rock, that makes my life a little bit easier. I think there is a crash site somewhere over here. I'm not entirely sure where it was. But there's a slug there, and I think I see a slug up there, so I'm going to grab both of these. Oh, there's another one over here. Nice! These guys are just in a cluster. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Stupid little guy. Ah, okay, I heard another one. I know there's a, a, a satisfactory map that you can look up online and you can see where all the nodes and stuff are at, but I feel like that would be cheating. Oh, and a crash site! Yes, I wanted to find one of these at least. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of you guys. Oh, I need to heal. Uh... Get in me. I didn't realize how close to death I was. I probably I had one hit point left. Oh, I don't need anything to unlock this. I just needed screws. Yes, give me a hard drive. These are amazing. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Yeah, like... Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Yeah, like the computer just said, like uh, Ada just said that uh, these give me alternate recipes, and sometimes these alternate recipes are very, very efficient. And some of them, it'll be helpful for certain setups in certain areas because sometimes you don't have... All right, I think it's time to head back home. Put some of these rarer items in the box. So you, definitely you, 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 okay. All right, sweet. Put my leaves in the thingy to make more fuel, which has probably almost run out by now. Base building unlocked. Ah, uh, I could get Master modular. Reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory wanted that so I could do this and again even this is probably temporary I just wanted to get something set up just so I'm not flailing about milestone exchange concluded fix it freighter re-entry complete
Okay, I think I'm set on power for a little while longer. I desperately need to have some more concrete, so actually... Let's not take any chances. Build another one of you. Right there sounds like a good spot. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the space elevator today. But I do want to get my other concrete uh, location set up. So, it's just the humble beginnings of the base. This grid is mainly just to lay out my power grid for the moment. And that's really it. So, let's actually get you to come there. And let's scoot. No power. Why don't you have any power? Did I mess up wiring somewhere? Yes, I did. Uh, there. All right, so let me just get an overview of everything I've built so far, and then we can call it a day. Hey, space, spaceship. Look at it. My industry, it is growing. Next episode, hopefully I can actually get a good solid foundation of a bigger base built to where I can just consolidate everything together into one place so I'm not running back and forth all, all the time. And, uh, yeah, um, actually, let's, before we leave, I want to see what the next upgrade is. Field research, uh, the MAM, oh, I can do tier two, obstacle clearing. Ooh, that would be really helpful for biomass gathering. But I also want this, actually, I can get this now. Let's do it, but why not? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Milestone reach. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. Nice! We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. So how much does this thing mining? Display will help 30 per minute? And improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Yeah, let's let's hold off on doing that one. This one, however, I can do right away because I kind of want to have this evenly split off anyway. So I'm creating both things at the same time. I'm getting distracted. So they, like the, the like, no joke, this is the last thing I'm gonna build, and then we'll call the session. Let me up. Let, I need uppies. All right, let's get this splitter down. Oh, that looks awful, but hey, we'll, we'll deal with it. Because it's only temporary. And yes, I have done it. I have finally got everything automated. Except for screws. Ah, sorry, this is the last thing. And for this, it looks like I'm going to have to... Either, can I scoot around you? Yes, I can. I'm going to say I can either scoot around this rock or I'm going to have to use a conveyor lift to get around this. Alright, so now... Uh, everything is automated. Oh... Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this video here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, set that like button free. Check out more videos on the channel. Um, click, comment, subscribe, and as always, set that like button free. And if you wanna keep up to date with videos that I am posting, hit that notification bell. Uh, these videos take a while to make, not only uh, to uh, record, because this is almost a two-hour recording now, but you guys won't see that because it'll take me time to chop this up into a more uh, absorbable video for you guys to watch. So uh, anyway, yeah, so I will see you and all of your beautiful faces in the next video. So later.